Hello, Nasted here, and we're back in Walson. And if you don't know, they have extended beta till December 12th because we've added a few new items. So it's now technically beta 2.3. So we shall jump in, see what's changed. Oh, they've added a new creature as well called the Spawner. So we check him out, and they've got two new spells. So we have a little look at them. So let's dive in. So here we are in the main hub. But first of all, we shall get ourselves the uh, hidden item. So I briefly mentioned this last time, but I only found one part of it. So uh, I know where the second part is now. It is behind. Well. Behind this wall is a special belt chest. There's a chest here with a belt in it, basically. So what I'll do, I'll uh, show you how to unlock it. So you've got to un... Uh, we've, we've got to reveal these uh, Easter eggs. That's off the cliff somewhere. There it is. Zoom out. Well done. This is the Sedund hidden message. There's another one. I think it's over here somewhere. Let's go and find it, shall we? Right, where's this thing? Is it over here? Somewhere? Ah, uh, ooh, ooh, hello, ooh, there, ooh, go, God, where is it? Can't read it. There it is. Well done, this is the first. First hidden secret area. There we go. Right. So I've done it. Then you run back where that wall was. And there should now be a chest. So let's go and get it. Here it is. Nice. Nice disco light bulb chest. So let's open it up. It's got a unique belt of the mighty tester. Or belt of the owl. So let's try it on. Let's just see what I think it gives you. Um, where is it? Is it? There you go. Well, it's a lot better than what I've got at the moment. Value zero. So it's plus 15 to all attributes. So these should go up when I equip it. And we've got plus 20 attack damage, plus 20 spell damage. There we go. Look at that. Looks awesome. Right, what's these new spells then? Where are they at? Oh, we've got to find them first. Actually, I actually might be able to buy them. Let's see if we can buy them. I only want one, I'm not interested in the other one. There's the Spellman. Hello, Mr. Spellman. There you are. Ah, looks like I've got to find it. Oh no, there it is. Enerek Sovereign Shout. We should buy that. And the other one was... Uh, ah, what's the other one? I thought it was a Mark for Death Tie style one, perhaps. Okay. Perhaps I've got to find it, maybe. Okay, so we'll learn this. on our bar. Let's see if there's any new ones. Okay. Sell my Anorex, get some points. up this level up and again skip doing it 
level six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, just one short. That's annoying. So we can choose either Raging Berserker grants rage per enemy hit by the shout and improved rage per hit for the duration of skill, or we got Dawnbreaker enemies hit by the shout gain stacks of weakness. So I think grants rage per enemy hit. We'll go with that one. So we just keep spamming it then, basically. So let's give it a go. Zoom in on our man. Ooh, it's loud. It takes a little while to uh, count down. Timer. There we go. And again. Wah. Cool. So what do the other ones do? This one, hold the lion, grants bonus armor per enemy hit by the shout. That's good. Stuns foes. That ain't too bad either. Don't know what to go for. Right, let's go and hunt out this new uh, enemy. So what does this buff give me? Unleash a powerful war cry which buffs attack speed and cast speed for allies. That's handy. Alright, let's go in. Right, so let's try this rage generation spell. So to cast it would give me 100 rage generation. Go hundred. Sandy. I've morphed it now so that it uh, enemies hit by shout go stacks of weakness. Not sure what weakens the weakness does, but it can't be good for him. Where's this new enemy? That's the old one of the old ones. <laughs> Right. Be weakened. Ooh, look, they've got a funny glow around them. Can't notice it being faster. First. What's the first? Is that a new um What is first? Alright. Oh. Oh, that's a mage amulet. 57% spell damage. Not bad. Oh, there he is. There's a new boss. Not a new boss. No, oh, I'm trapped. Oh my god. Got murdered. <laughs> yeah, because I try to get so many enemies that just trap you. Oh, I'm trapped. I can't move. Alright, let me clear these ads. Right away. I'm gonna die again. Oh. <laughs> right. Let's get down there. Kill him. Oh, there they are. Not a good start. Oh, that's pretty tough. Truly, getting murdered. Uh, right there. Health. Really got to get rid of these little ads. Alright. He's dying. Got one. Alright, you sodding things. <laughs> got him. They are hard. I wasn't expecting them to be that tough. Definitely uh, up the ante, that does. We've got any more in creatures? Yeah, there's one. I do look weird. 
You can launch those babies at me? Yeah. There they are. Alright, I've got to wipe them out quick. Concentrating you. Ball in left, right, and centre. Ugh. Yeah, you get absolutely blocked in by these things. Yeah. Oof, gotta get in there quick and kill him. It's handy having an extra bit of uh, rage when you need it. Would you stop doing that? Whew. It's definitely a bit tough for this beta 2.3. Big, big group there. That usually not there. Like that. Oh, dead again. Definitely made this harder. Oh my god. We try that and new stuff and uh, leave it there. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. And if there's any more developments in Walsham, I will uh, sure to let you know. So, cheerio.